If you have a Squarespace website and you've ever wondered why is it loading so slow, or like me here, you've ever put it into a page speed test and seen that it's getting a really low performance score, then this video is for you because I'm gonna explain why Squarespace loads so slow, what you can do to improve, and five actionable steps so you can improve your Squarespace website's page loading speed. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Henry Purchase and I'm the founder of SEO Space. We made the SEO plugin for Squarespace that's currently helping over 6,000 Squarespace users rank higher up on Google and speed up your Squarespace website. So in this video, you're going to learn the lessons that I've learned from working with those 6,000 sites, but let's just get straight into it. So one of the reasons that Squarespace typically gets a slow page loading speed and sometimes can load quite slow is because it's a website builder. Platforms like WordPress are CMSs, a content management system. And just to give you an analogy so you understand the difference, a CMS is like a frame of a house. You have a lot more control about what the house, when you build it, eventually looks like, what's inside, and it gives you a lot more flexibility and control. However, website builders are much more like a Airbnb or a house that you rent. The furniture's already inside. You don't need to build the walls. The house is already there, and it's a lot more easy to ultimately move into that house and start living in it. And that core difference between a website builder, which is like a house that's pretty much ready to move into, and a CMS, a content manager, management system like WordPress is one of the key reasons why Squarespace loads slower. There's a lot more built into Squarespace that allows you to get your website out there looking amazing and ready to go than there is on platforms like WordPress, which load a lot faster, which generally means that the performance scores on Squarespace websites will be slower. While this can be a con, this is one of the reasons that Squarespace is so much easier to use. It's naturally going to load slower because it's got everything in the box all ready to go, ready to get your website out there in a much faster time. So in my opinion, the ability to get your website out there faster, everything in the box, you're not having to install loads of different plugins just to get it to function is a massive pro in my eyes. And just to tie on to that a little bit further, this is a list of Google's algorithm ranking factors. So this is a list of all the things that matter when it comes to ranking your website high up on Google. And as you can see here, page speed only accounts for three percent of what matters when it comes to ranking your website on Google. So even though Squarespace websites do tend to have a low page loading score, do not let that worry you because it is just one piece of many ranking factors and it only plays a small part of the overall pie of what really matters when it comes to ranking on Google. But now you know why Squarespace's page loading speed isn't that great and why in reality it doesn't matter that much and the pros far outweigh the cons. I'm now going to walk you through five steps in order to improve the page loading speed on your Squarespace website so that you can rank higher and ultimately people coming to it have a better experience. Now, the first thing that I want you to do is compress the images that you upload to your Squarespace website before you upload them. The way that I do that is go over to a tool called imagecompress.com. I will upload my images here, compress them below 250 kilobytes, and then upload them to my Squarespace website. Now, if you've already got images on your Squarespace site that are slowing you down, you can test that by using SEO Spaces Squarespace SEO plugin. All you have to do is open up the plugin on any live Squarespace web page or on the Squarespace editor, run the scan, and SEO Space is automatically going to flag images that are greater than 250 kilobytes on your Squarespace web page. As you can see here, it's finished the scan. It's given me a score of 88%. And all I have to do is go over to images, and here it's flagged all the images that are greater than 250 kilobytes, as well as giving me the size. So all I have to do is click on that image, it will highlight it in red, and if I click on it, as long as I'm on the live web page, it's actually going to automatically open imagecompressor.com. So you're just going to have to save the image, upload it here, and then re-upload it back to your Squarespace website. Now, Squarespace does often increase the image size after you upload it. So if you rescan with SEO space and it's still telling you the images are too big, manually save it, check the size on your computer, and you'll usually see the SEO space is correct. So it does require a little bit of iteration, which is a little bit frustrating, but that is one of the most effective ways to increase your page loading speed on Squarespace. Now, the second thing that I want you to do is avoid using Squarespace's native video hosting. If you need to embed a video on your Squarespace site, you can go here and press 
video and of course upload your video to Squarespace. However, I massively recommend against doing this because when you do this and someone loads up your Squarespace website, this actually adds a lot more on the page in order to load. You know, if you add a video that's like five gigabytes, for example, then that is going to massively slow down that Squarespace web page. What I recommend you doing, actually, as you can see here, is embedding it as a YouTube video because the file isn't then stored on your Squarespace site. It's stored on YouTube and the experience of actually watching that video is the exact same as you can see here. All they have to do is press play and they're going to watch the video as a whole. And this is actually really good for SEO because if you think about it, Google owns YouTube. So if Google sees that you're embedding YouTube videos on your Squarespace site, then users coming to your site are much more likely to stay within the Google ecosystem, which means Google makes more money and is more likely to favor your site. So if you're ever gonna add a video, upload it to YouTube, embed it on your Squarespace site, instead of embedding it manually using Squarespace's native video hosting. Now, the third thing that I want you to do to speed up your Squarespace site is remove any unnecessary custom fonts and coding. Anytime that you add customization to any website, whether it's on Squarespace, WordPress, Webflow, etc., that is extra code that Google needs to go through and these page speed testing tools need to go through in order to load your web page and give you a score. Of course, it also slow down and negatively impact the user experience of people that come to your website. So if you want to speed up your Squarespace site, remove any custom coding, remove any unnecessary custom fonts because this can be holding you back. Now the fourth thing that I want you to do to speed up the Squarespace site is identify and fix any broken links. Broken links on your website are essentially links which are no longer working or when you initially added them they may have been broken and this is bad for page loading speed because if you imagine when Google's going through your website it's analyzing the content and it's deciding whether to display you on search engines. If you have broken links those are blockers for crawlers going through your website in order to understand the content so this can be a blocker and it is bad for user experience so all i recommend you doing is either heading over and using seo spaces site-wide audit which will automatically identify any broken links across your whole squarespace website or you just need to rescan again using seo spaces plugin and it's going to automatically detect any broken links on that web page. Now, for the purpose of this video, I have added a broken link on this web page. So, all you need to do is head over to links, click the link that it's saying is broken, and SEO Space is going to automatically highlight that broken link. From there, you just need to press edit, head over to the link that is broken, and then in this case, I just need to remove it or you would need to fix it. And then from there, you can press save and rescan, and SEO Space will detect that you fix a broken link. Now, the fifth and final thing that you can do in order to speed up your Squarespace website is allow something called AMP. AMP stands for Accelerated Mobile Pages, and it's a setting that you can turn on on your Squarespace site, which will allow your blog post to be served within a AMP format. And all this essentially does, your blog post will be served to Google and served to users in a light format. It will remove custom coding, it will remove any unnecessary elements in order to make the blogs load faster and in in theory rank higher up on Google. Now in order to turn this on, all we need to do is go over to settings, then from there head over to blog preferences, and from here you can click use AMP, which will provide a optimized view for your blog post when viewing on mobile. Now for me personally, I don't turn this on because when it does this, it'll essentially remove things like contact forms, like blog call to actions that you might have added in your blog post, which can actually reduce the conversion rate. So I would rather them lower a little bit slower and get higher conversion rates than you know drop my conversion rates and get less leads and sales but obviously that is a step that you can go if you do really want to push the limits of what can be achieved on Squarespace so there you are guys that is a run through of why Squarespace can be slow five things you can do to speed it up and really realistically why Squarespace's page loading speed isn't something that you need to worry about if you want to get more Squarespace SEO tips then feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next one